Let's predict the products for the reaction of Fe plus CuSO4. That's iron plus copper 2 sulfate. So when we predict the products of a reaction, first thing to do is identify what type of reaction. Here we have a metal by itself and then an ionic compound, a metal and some nonmetals. So it looks like this is going to be single displacement, especially if you have a metal by itself here. You're thinking single displacement. So it looks like the iron would push the copper out. We'd end up with copper, and that would be a solid now. And then the iron would be with the SO4. So that's our single replacement or displacement reaction. Iron replaces the copper, the iron now with the sulfate. As we look at the products, copper we said is a solid. Iron sulfate, sulfates in general are soluble, so we're going to call that aqueous, which means it's dissolved in water. Because we have an ionic compound, FeSO4 is ionic, we do need to think about the charge. In this case, everything's okay with the charge. We have a 2 minus on the sulfate, and then that means the iron would have to be 2 plus. So these charges, they balance out. So these are the products for the reaction of Fe plus CuSO4. If you need help figuring out the charges on ions, there's a link at the end of this video. That's it. This is Dr. B predicting the products of Fe plus CuSO4. We have a single displacement reaction. We end up with FeSO4 plus Cu. If you wanted to check and see if this reaction actually took place, you could use the activity series to make sure that this was actually the direction that this reaction went in. Thanks for watching.